Welcome, everyone, uh, to this presentation about the Erlang Ecosystem Foundation. My name is Desmond, and this is Miriam. Hi, I'm, my name is Miriam, and he is Desmond. Um. Uh, so I'll introduce Miriam. Miriam is the organizer of the Erlang and Elixir meetup in San Francisco. She's a staff engineer at AdRoll, and she's also a board member of the foundation. Thank you, Desmond. And Desmond is a few more things than me. He is the organizer of the Elixir meetup in Los Angeles. He has a podcast. He has a company who hires Elixir developers. Company name. And what was else? There's a jobs board. You mentioned the podcast. He's the, uh, he's the lead There's of the, the marketing group of the foundation. And he's been with us for a really long time. The foundation since the very beginning. And there's a conference. And there's a conference. Oh, really? There's a conference. How, how many of you have ever been to MPEX in New York or? It's amazing. Everyone's sitting over there. That's Los funny. Angeles, yeah. It's a really great conference. Anyway, we're here to talk about the Erlang Ecosystem Foundation. Yep, that's the important thing. So what are we going to cover today? A couple of things. Who we are, what we've been up to, what's on our roadmap, how you can get involved, and everyone's favorite part, the conclusion. So let's talk a little bit about us. We are a nonprofit composed of individuals from the Erlang and Elixir communities who are volunteering our time to grow the ecosystem. I want to make emphasis, no one's paying us to do this. There's no co company behind us. No. no. It's uh, a lot of us spending our whatever free time we have left. Yeah, I don't um, have any free time. Right. I don't have a personal life. So if it looks like things are not moving quickly, that's why. But we're, we're into this. Like, this means a lot to us. We got involved because this matters, and I hope it matters to you. So our goal is to grow and support a diverse community around the Erlang and Elixir ecosystem. So diversity has a couple of meanings. There's diversity of individuals. There's diversity of technologies. It's not just about Erlang and Elixir. It's called the Erlang Ecosystem Foundation, but we're here at an Elixir conference. We are all one large community along with the people who are doing Lisp-flavored Erlang, the people who are doing Clojure, people who are doing stuff that hasn't been invented yet. Even with the Beam, like these are not just Beam languages. If someone came along tomorrow and wrote a new virtual machine that Erlang uh, would run on, we would support that as well. So this is a very broad and expansive uh, mission. I just said this. Uh, so who are we? So we have a board of directors. Uh, here they are. Gorby Puff is not actually one of our directors, but we told people if they didn't send us their picture, we would put him up there. And so we felt we had to make good on that threat, or otherwise people wouldn't take us seriously. So you may recognize a lot of these folks from the um, Erlang community. They've also built some libraries that you have probably used, like mm -hmm. Hackney. One of them you might recognize from the Elixir community, at least. Yeah, one of them you might recognize from being on stage with me right now. But there's more than just the board members. There are the actual members in the community. So these are our members. Mm -hmm. A subset of them. No, this is all of them. No, they couldn't fit. Oh, I you're right. You. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so a lot, of, a lot of people who are involved in this. So actually, show of hands, how many of you are members of the foundation? That's cool. How many of you have heard of the foundation? All right, even better. So we have a lot of opportunity here. Yeah, awesome. This is great. So, um, but. That's who we are. Why should you care? So at this point, I will turn it over to Miriam. OK, so people have been asking us, what have we been doing all this time? And we've actually been very, very busy, very, very busy. There's a lot of things that you need to build. You need to build the foundation of the foundation before you can actually start doing things that have an impact on the ecosystem we're supporting. Um, we have created a bunch of working groups. Uh, this is just a subset of them. Uh, there's marketing, uh, there's Moon, he's been very active on the 
on our Twitter account, we have a newsletter, and so many other things, with the website. There's documentation, building and packaging tooling, working group, security working group, observability working group, a sponsorship working group, fellowship, and education, training, and adoption, which is a working group and actually leading. Besides the infrastructure little things, we have uh, actually uh, working on cross-platform telemetry reporters that Jose Valim talked in his keynote just yesterday. Uh, we have, uh, the tolling working group have managed to accomplish a self-hosted X repository, super exciting. We have moved our website from WordPress to a Phoenix Bakes website hosted in Giga Elixir. Let's have a hand for that man. Um, many of this effort was from Brian Back Paxton, so I should mention that. Thank you, Brian. Uh, here's the website. It's on GitHub. You can contribute to it. Uh, please contribute to it. Open your pull request and help us do it better. We have a monthly newsletter, which is coordinated by the marketing working group. Uh, you can subscribe at, at our URL. And, that we, and we have a blog, and, and it needs your content. We have some content, but it's just started. So please don't send us a little blog post about the two cool things you're doing at your companies and you're super excited about because we want to share them with the world. This is the best mechanism to grow our community. Here's the blog. And I have a really big announcement. We have created a grant proposal process. It's really my pleasure to announce this. Uh, the goal of this is to fund open source development, open uh, trainings, uh, workshops, any other initiatives that you think will help grow this ecosystem and expand it. Um, these grants are funded by our sponsors, uh, membership fees, and the donations that we receive from you, from the community. Their current focus is to increase and expand the community, so we have decided to favor grants that are targeted to beneficiaries that are new to the Erlang and Elixir ecosystem. So we will prefer grants that support online workshops, online training materials, hands-on training, development work of open source libraries that you have identified that needs work on. We can here to fund that work and move it forward. And of course, we will favor grant for diversity efforts. So how does this work? There is a, you go to our website, there will be a form there, and you can fill there the details uh, of, of the little things that we need to know in order to make the decision whether it's okay to do to give the grant. In particular, we want to know the purpose of the grant, who will be the beneficiaries of it, and after we accept, we get the grant and you do your thing. Uh, I we want you to come to us with the outcomes of what you have accomplished and how, what was the feedback and how it has benefit. Because we want that feedback to make our further grant decisions better and to move the ecosystem uh, energy towards uh, that direction. And let's talk about the roadmap. The roadmap. The roadmap. All the working groups will do their own things, but we want to highlight a few of them. This is your slide. Okay. <laughs> so this year, uh, we want to start distributing grants to the community. So as soon as you get home, start thinking about what is necessary, start coordinating between you to make that happen, and come back to us with what you need. We want to, um, from the education adoption and training working group, we want to start working on educational materials. Uh, and we we'll probably favor everything which uh, happened to be online, but we have to still work on that. We were going to work on improving working group communications uh, so it's more visible what is going on within them. We're going to have a voting for the board. So if you want to participate on who is going to be the board ne next year, uh, you need to be a member to have this voting rights. And we are, we're also going to have voting for fellows. So if you want to also vote for that, you have to be a member. And for be a member, go to our website. Get involved. <clears throat> so now what? I'm sure you all at the edge of your seats with, how can I be a part of this awesome stuff that's happening? Well, I'm glad you asked. There's a couple ways you can get involved. 
First, you can find a working group and get in touch with them. We listed the ones that are currently out there. You can visit our website. There's a great list that shows what they're about, uh, where you can go to find out more information. Some of them you email. Others have GitHub repos that you can use to contact the, uh, the leads. And introduce yourself, ask what they need help with, suggest your own ideas. Like, this is all open to members of the community. If you do not see something that you want to do, you can propose a new working group. So that's exciting because that means there's no excuse for you not to tackle problems that you see. We don't have to wait around for anyone to do things for us. Like, this is community driven. You can also request a grant. So this is the big deal. Like, why do we keep asking people for money? This is why. So we can turn around and give it back to you. Um, so please, like, this is the, one of the main things that we do. Please, uh, if you have a great idea, send in a grant. Um, you'll send in a grant to a specific working group. If you have a question, send it in to anyone and we'll redirect it. But the working groups are the ones that approve different, um, different grant requests. So think of something. If you have questions, ask us. We're here to help. You can also become a member. Paying members get to vote. All that cool stuff we talked about in the last slide, you want to say in how things are going, uh, give us some money. But also start as a free member, so then we can pitch you on being a paying member later. And of course, ask your company to be a sponsor. Sponsorship tiers are up on our website. Mm -hmm. They're very reasonable. Very, very reasonable. Very reasonable. And the money goes back into operations like this. Yep. So everything starts on our website, which is earlyf.org. All right, well, I got to work on leaving the crowd. Um, <laughs> So speaking of sponsors, who is sponsoring us right now? These excellent companies, uh, many of them founding sponsors, have generously donated, donated their money to help us get all this stuff off the ground. I have to say that some of them, they even donated more money that they, we requested them to do to be a sponsor. So we really thank them for that. I think that's excellent. Let's have a round of applause for these sponsors. Yeah. Uh, not a lot of companies whose names start with P. Maybe my hypothesis was, pre was hmm. premature. We'll work on it. Great. Uh, if your company is interested, then please get in touch with us. There's also a great section on our website where you can find out more and become a sponsor. Mm -hmm. And now we have reached everybody's favorite fun part, the conclusion. <laughs> What's going to happen now? What's going to happen now? In conclusion, please join the foundation. <laughs> That's it. Participate in the community. This is great. It's a sign of the excellent things that are happening. If you have any questions at all, uh, please ask Miriam. No. <laughs> all right. You can ask me. I, I need a personal life. <laughs> uh, you can ask me. I'm available through the website. I will be at the MPEX after party later. So uh, come find me. Come email me. And uh, I hope to see you all soon. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are amazing.